Ooh, hello guys. How y'all doing? Oh, we're still stuck inside, as you can tell. Um, uh, this was going to be the time I'll tell you I couldn't make the one o'clock, but I can. I had a grocery pickup at one, but now, you know, they're having a hard time finding some of my groceries. So, that's not until two, so I can wait. So I'll be Facebook live and again at, uh, at one o'clock on my Facebook page, same message. And then Instagram at one thirty, same message. And uh, so one of these recordings will be on YouTube. So uh, it's very windy out there today. If you don't want to go to look at, you know, my neighborhood and trees moving. It was really bad at one point. I just saw uh, one of my neighbors put uh, br try to bring a garbage can out, and the lid uh, hit him in the head. <laughs> he's okay. He looks like he's he's just fine. Uh, still stuck inside. Seniors. Uh, Students, high high school students, my um, man, I, I know y'all itching, probably itching to go back to school. I know you're on spring break now, but what? Wow, Easter's coming up. Today's Good Friday. Um, Tomahawk Christian Church will have their Good Friday service online, so check that out at five o'clock on this channel. So if you're watching me now, you're on the channel at five o'clock. So Christian and Liz does a great job taking care of all that for you. So, with that being said, um, uh, we had a, uh, if you want to participate in, like, in, while we're stuck at home on, on Zoom, um, I'll, you know, look at my social media and you'll get the code for the Zoom app and stuff like that. I do that Thursdays at 6, uh, Wednesdays, um, uh, Wednesdays at 6, I believe six or five one of those christian liz does a prayer service and uh of course we have service at 11 o'clock online on this tomahawk facebook page so keep your ears out for that i do uh zoom meetings i do game nights keep your ear out for all that <clears throat> so the wind's blowing and it made me think uh i'm up here in my man in, in my man cave um i'm up here where you know uh you know where I got all my goodies and and all my you know sports stuff and um, a lot of a lot of really cool um, things I've collected through the years and I, I'm looking out my window and the wind's really blowing like uh, I think yesterday in Fairfax there was a there was a lady who there was a lady who uh, had a tree like fall on her house uh, so. So the wind's a weapon here, and it's kind of kind of ironic because uh, we'll be reading out of Luke chapter six, and we're going to be reading the last four verses. So Luke chapter six verses forty six through forty nine. And a little background of what's going on here is Luke. Um, this this is part of the uh, big long like teachings of Jesus. Hey 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 Amanda, how's it going? Um, big long teachings of Jesus, uh, about the 30 verses that, that Luke's just recorded. He just went down and talked what Jesus said. So Jesus has spoke a lot about, um, you know, being rich and hungry, poor and hungry, woe is the rich, love your neighbors, love, I mean, love your enemies, don't judge, etc. So it's already, Jesus already taught that. A lot of these re recordings is also what we're going to talk about today in Luke 6. 46 through 49 is also uh, recorded in Matthew 7. A lot of uh, so Matthew and Luke were probably hanging around Jesus, seeing what's going on, seeing how it ends. So this ends this ends that the big long words that are written in red of uh, what Jesus said in Luke. So I want to read the first two verses and then discuss uh, what what I think. Uh, what if what what I got out of it after studying for a whole week? Um, let's see what I, see. Uh, and then of course you know, take it for what it's worth. All right, Luke chapter six verses forty six. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. So. Jesus probably already had a big group of people 
uh, listening to him. He probably saw the opportunity and probably decided to take the opportunity and say, hey, okay, well, they're going to listen to me. I might, might as well say something. So he says something. And this is near the end of that long 29 verse, you know, monologue or, or preaching or, or speaking or lecture or whatever you want to call it. These are the last few verses of that long uh, preaching or monologue or teaching, whatever you want to call it. And he starts with, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the thing, don't do the things I say, All right? In my Zoom meeting, we, I even asked, asked the students, uh, any, any adult who grew up around 2001, you know, it's like people who grew up during the Kennedy assassination, they know where they were when they heard about 9-11, when they heard about the towers fall. We know where we were. I knew where I was. And one thing you notice after uh, 9-11 was the fact that it seemed like we became a very Christian nation right away. Uh, prayer was asked for. Prayer was was given. Prayer was received well. Prayer was just there. Because now at the time where, wow, we have a real terrorist attack, it was... Um, we, we looked at we looked at God. It seemed like everybody looked at God, looked at their faith, no matter what faith that is. But that's when they turned to it. Verses four to six. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do a thing I say? Wow. So now, it's like they want the good stuff of Jesus. They want what Jesus has to offer, but they still don't want to do what He says. They still don't want to follow His rules. Love your neighbors. Or, or 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 love your enemies. Uh, that's a, <laughs> that's a little that's a little difficult, you know. Verse forty seven. I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. So he's about to tell a story. He's about to tell something. He's about to tell a parable. He wants you to listen to him, and he wants you to act. He wants you to have have the faith, and live out the faith. All right? And this is verse 48. And um, we, we, you might have heard this in Sunday school. He is like a man who builds his house. Who, He's like a man building a house who dug up and laid a foundation of rock on the rock. When the floods come and the river crash against that house and couldn't shake it, because it was well built. Alright. It was well built. Um, I live in, I'm living in my town home at the end. I told you about the wind. The wind is whipping. I can hear it. Uh, in my ceiling. I can, uh, my neighbor's chair just flew into my patio. Uh, a little bit. I mean it is going. Alright. But I feel safe in this house. Because I, tr I trust the structural integrity of it. I, I trust that. There is a foundation that was laid well. Uh, we're on a concrete foundation. I'm not in a trailer where I might have to worry a little bit. Uh, my house is not on blocks like a house I grew up in one time was. It's it's uh, There's a firm foundation laid. And if you know anything about construction or engineering, a foundation is a very important thing. Um, even if you just know a little thing about the, the minute... Uh, information you have about building, you know laying a foundation yes, my wife says up <laughs> so he, he, you know that it takes you have to, and it's funny he, he says uh, it's like a man building a house who dug deep so I told a story about Mississippi uh, down. there's only two ways in, before 2001 you can have a casino uh, it couldn't be on land. If it was on land, it had to be on Indian reservation. So if you ever see a casino in Mississippi before 2001, that was the way it had to be. So now, uh, after Katrina, you won't talk about Wendy. <laughs> after Katrina hit, um, the boat, the casinos on the Mississippi coast were on boats. Well, the boats, they, there was, it was not steady. It, uh, they were on water. It was not. In fact, you know, I remember my grandma going, I'm going to the boats. I'm going to the boats. I never understood what that meant, but she was going to the casino. 
after that, they put it on the water side. Uh, now, now they're they got a better foundation after Katrina, and now they're they're still on the water side. They're still on the beach, but they made sure that foundation the second time around was better for those casinos. So it's like a guy building a house who digs deep, who finds that foundation, who finds that 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 solid uh, platform to rest on. And then verse 49, the last verse of this chapter. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who builds his house without a foundation. Rivers, the river crashed against it and immediately collapsed. And the destruction of the house was great. Exclamation point. So, he... Told you what would happen if you didn't build your house on foundation. You will crumble. You will fall. It will fall. It's like the three little pig story. Biblical biblical version of three little pig story. You know, one little pig built his house out of straw. And the wolf built it up. If you grew up where I did, the, that means the wolf ate the big, uh, the, the little pig. And yeah, same thing with the sticks. And um, But the guy with the, the pig with the brick, he, he was the solid foundation. So, you're probably going, okay, we, we hear about foundation. Uh, Jesus wanted to uh, do what he uh, just didn't want lip service. He wanted you to act. Um, what, what are the takeaways, is what I call it. And here are the takeaways. Um, I think one of the garbage cans just moved. Anyway, uh, what are one of the takes away? Uh, you want to be a cross follower, you need to act like it. That is a takeaway. If you want to follow Jesus, you got to act like you follow Jesus. You got to know. And we're not talking about televangelists or, you know, um, holier than thou. We're, we're talking about, you know, the, the, the standards Jesus put in front of us uh, about not judging and, and loving your enemies just in this chapter about uh, following, you know, his guidelines and following what he wants, you know, what a Christian should be and sh should look like. Um, so the first takeaway is Jesus' followers should act like Jesus' followers. Next one is have a solid foundation. We talked about the terms of building a building. Uh, Got to have a solid foundation or it just blows away. Thank goodness... I don't know if you can hear it. The wind's picking up again. Good thing I have a solid foundation. Okay? So, the the, found, the foundations, you think about when you when you teach, uh, when you learn, okay? Before you hit college algebra, you gotta know how to do algebra in high school. Before they throw letters in there, and before they throw letters, you gotta know how to multiply. Before you learn to multiply, you need to know how to add and subtract. Before you do that, you need to know how to count to five, or or ten, or a hundred, or something. So each level of school is also a foundation. You know, you you don't teach the same thing you learned in first grade that you do in ninth grader. Okay, yeah, and that's not the way it should work. Oh, one of one of my neighbor's garbage cans did fall. All right, so so. So they, they're building a foundation of what you need to learn when you get in higher grades. That's the same thing for Christians. We need to learn the... Uh, we, we need foundation. We need a, we need a good foundation. Um, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Okay, good. Why does he love you? Right, this is why. Okay, what am I going to do with that? All right. That's how we act out our faith. So that's the second point. Let's review those two takeaways right now. Um, want to be a Christian, a Christ follower? Act like it. We need a solid foundation with Jesus. And the last takeaway is uh, people will listen, but not always act and do what Christ say, which is probably the scariest part. Um, this 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 great people that he was talking to during this time, there in Luke chapter six, who knows how many people are actually going to listen to him? Who actually was going? Take his words and apply it. Okay, guys. A lot, of, a lot of pastors, a lot of preachers, a lot of spiritual mentors, a lot of teachers, a lot of Christian friends. 
they're just not saying this just because they want to show how smart they are. I mean, heavens knows I'm not the smartest one in the bunch. But they're saying this because they want you to follow Jesus and do your best of being a Christ follower. Doing your best to put that foundation on and do your best to listen to what Jesus has for you. So, Luke chapter 6. Uh, Luke chapter 6 has some good stuff. And uh, guys, uh, let's keep the prayers of the students, um, especially the seniors. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is, even though they said, man, they're ready to get out of high school, I'm pretty sure this is not the way they wanted to end their high school time. Um, the athletes and people who participate in spring activities, whether that be any kind of musicals or, or, or sporting events, uh, especially the seniors who this was it, this was going to be it for them. Um, uh, pray, pray for those students. Uh, the students who have to stay home, uh, possibly in a house that may not be uh, very comfortable. All students who depend on those uh, school lunches. Uh, students who are probably missing one of their favorite teachers. Uh, students who are missing their friends. Um, students who are just, who are probably like me, are just crazy right now being cooped up at home. All right. So uh, be sure you pray for them and um, take some time uh, to God and mention them. Uh, we love y'all. Hey, y'all remember a uh, good Good Friday service today at 5, church at 11. Wednesday, there's a uh, prayer meeting uh, on Facebook on this page. So you take care uh, take care of all that. Um, Friday, I'll, I'll release all my videos. I got a Zoom meeting on Thursday at 6. I'll get you all that information by Monday. That way you, you can start planning accordingly. All right. Love you all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for these people. Thank you for the students and teachers, God. And thank you for the people right now who I'm seeing who are just doing what they're doing. And, you know, picking up my garbage and and um, dropping my mail off. And the, the grocery store workers where I have to go and, and pick up my groceries while they're shop for me. Thank you so much for the ability we have to do that. Be with the teachers as they try to teach online. Be with the students as they're trying to adjust. Be with the parents as they're adjusting with uh, schoolwork and, and having to work from home if they can. And for those parents who are losing their jobs, Lord, I pray that you find them something and keep all our uh, families financially safe. God, we love you in the name and pray. Amen. All right, guys. I'll be back at one. Same lesson, though. So, you know.